Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating square grids in Excel and also ratio grids. So let's start with our square grids. I've got a worksheet already set up for this. We want to make a square grid so we're going to select over all of the columns that we want in our grid. You're going to position your cursor between two of those columns, doesn't matter which two, and you're going to click and drag. You'll see that you get a width value that's changing. Well, that's useless in this situation because you can't use that same value for a row height because they're measured in different quantities. Excel's not telling you what those quantities are, but the width and the height values are not the same unit, but the pixels are. So let's say we want a 50 pixel grid. So I'm just going to wind back until the pixels read 50 and I'm going to let go of the mouse button. And now what I'll do is just go and grab on all the rows I want to be affected. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to position my cursor between the rows, click and drag. And here you'll see that the height value is 15, whereas before the width was a much smaller value and yet the width of the column was bigger and the height, you can see the values are totally different units. But we've got pixels here and that's going to be the secret to this. We're just going to read off the pixels and as soon as we get it to 50, we're just going to let go. And now all of these cells are square. And so we could go ahead and print that. But what if we want a ratio grid? So let's look at the scenario, say, of a knitting pattern. In knitting, when you knit up a little sample, you may discover that for every four stitches on a row, you have to do five rows to make a square. So if you mark out a square on your knitting, it might be four stitches across, but five rows tall. And that's a four to five ratio. So we need four stitches across and then five rows to make that square. So that's our width to height ratio. And you may find that you've got another scenario where you need cells that the width to height ratio is three to two or four to six, whatever it is, you're just going to put those numbers in here. And then we're going to work out in this case what our cell height is. I want my cell height to be a hundred. So I'm just going to type in a hundred here. And so now we're going to work out what the width needs to be. Well, the height's going to have to be a hundred because that's what we've just specified. So I'm just typing a plus sign or an equal sign and just putting the contents of that cell in here. Just want to be able to read data off this area and I am using a formula here because if I change this value, I want this one to change. And now we need to build our formula. So we're going to type an equal or a plus sign. We're going to be multiplying the anticipated or desired value by this ratio. So the width is going to be bigger than 100. It has to be bigger than 100 because we need four of those to five of the height. So we're going to divide by four and we're going to multiply by five. So I'm going to put in my division sign. I'm going to click on the cell that has four in it. I'm going to hit my multiplication sign, the asterisk. I'm going to click on the cell that has five in it. I'm going to press enter. Now, if you get these two round the wrong way, you're just going to go rebuild your formula. But use a sort of guess here is that if we've got four stitches across or four somethings across and we have to do five high to make that same distance, then the acrosses are going to be bigger than the downs. So this is what we've got. We've got a width of 125, a height of 100. So let's go and make that grid on a new work sheet. So we're just going to select over some cells that we want to include in our knitting pattern. We're going to go up to 125. So there's our width and now we're going to select our rows and these were going to have to be a hundred. So again, just clicking and dragging between and this is going to be a ratio grid where in these cells here, if we select four across and five down, this is a square. So this is a knitting pattern grid. Now a word of warning here, if you go and say you want your cell height to be 50, for example, you're going to get a width that's a fractional amount and you can't do that. So when we go and change these values, you can see that there is no fractional amount, they're all whole numbers. So if you want it to be accurate, you probably going to just need to change these values down a little bit. So if I go to 48, then I can get a width and a height value that are whole numbers. And so that's going to give me my grid, a couple of pixels difference in height, but this is going to be a true four to five ratio grid. So there's how to achieve square pixel grids in Excel, but also how to create your own ratio grids given a width to height ratio. 
If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.